Hello YouTube and hello to the Arma community. Last YouTube video I brought you, I showed you how to add your custom music soundtracks to Arma missions through the Arma 3 editor. And I'm bringing you another script tutorial. Now I I, I, gotta, I gotta say, I hate the name tutorial. I hate calling these tutorials because that makes me sound like some sort of guru. I am no, by no stretch of the ad imagination am I a guru. I'm like you guys. I'm a fellow learner. I'm always constantly learning from this game. I'm constantly learning how to script and I just want to show you guys what, what, what is out there. So today we're going to talk about joining and leaving units. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I lied. We're going to talk about joining and leaving groups. I'm also going to talk to you guys about the different features of groups and a little and, and we're going to touch very briefly on waypoints. I'm going to show you two ways on how to make this group of FIA soldiers join this group of Delta units. I'm going to do that two ways, once with a waypoint, the other, the other one's with a script. Okay, so we're going to start with the waypoints. Now, I've, I've, I've added this guy in. I don't want you to worry about any of this for now. This is for the second one. But first, we're going to add a waypoint. Now, waypoint is going to be... No, it's not a unit, dummy. It's going to be a waypoint. This is the move waypoint. Now, the, the completion radius is kind of like a trigger. This is how close, in meters, that the blue four will get to the objective before it flips and say, okay, this waypoint is completed. The placement radius, it's as if... Say you placed this waypoint marker on a bush and you said completion radius is, is 5 meters away. The game will draw a circle around the bush with a, with a radius of 5 meters. And then it will place the marker anywhere within that circle, randomly, completely randomly. So if you want a random placement, you, you put, if you want a random placement within the area, you say placement radius, and then you, it'll, it'll, it'll place it within a random area. The completion radius, again, it's like a trigger. Now, I want to talk to you about the description real quick. Remember when we did the, the adding custom tracks and I said the description.ext is a description for the mission? Well, the description for a waypoint is exactly that. It's the descript it, it, it describes the waypoint. Now, you can have, I don't care what waypoint you have, you can have anything. On your HUD, it'll display move and then the distance to that waypoint. However, if you put something in this description, I don't know, something like uh, RV with FIA, you won't see move and then the distance. It'll say RV with FIA, and then it'll say the distance. That'll add a little bit of professionalism and a little bit of, little bit of um, I don't want to say professionalism, that's a bad thing. Um, it'll add a little bit of pizzazz to your waypoints, I guess. Now we're going to make a move... Waypoint here, nothing special, formation column. Okay, and then we're going to synchronize these. Now, synchronizing two move waypoints is pretty much like saying once this unit, like, it's pretty much saying this unit will move here and then wait for this group to move here before com before running through the rest of their waypoints. It's pretty much like, it's pretty much like the hold until every unit's in position. Those are especially useful for combined operations and the, and the like. Now I want to talk to you about join, join and lead, and just join. I, 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 the best analogy I can use to describe these two is the join and lead is like the male end. It's it's the master end. You have the join. I, I, that's gonna sound really misogynistic, but I am not a misogynist. I promise. I tend to think of join and lead as the male end. That's that that's the group that's gonna take command, and the join. Oh come on, and the join is the female end, or the subordinate end. They are going to do the following. And you synchronize those to get them to join. There we go. Let's see if it works. We have our units over there by the rubble. They will move to their location. See what I mean? Join, or uh, RV with FIA. And we're just going to hop over, hop over here. And then these guys are going to come out from their cover, and they're going to join us. Five, six, join group. Ready. And Ready. there you have it. That's how you get people to join your group. 
However, you can't remove people from the group by using waypoints alone. To remove people from the group, you have to use a waypoint and a trigger. Or not a way, not a trigger. You have to use a waypoint and a, and a little bit of script. And it's not that difficult. And I'll show you that right now. We're going to delete these two. Uh, we're going to keep those synchronized. But now I wanted to show you, before we get to the second part, I wanted to show you what I actually did here. This part is insignificant. That's just a variable name for this for this unit. This is this is significant. Hunter one one equals group this, and then this set group ID, an array, Hunter one one in parentheses, or uh, in quotation marks. Do you guys remember when we did Adam custom uh, adding custom music to your Arma Arma three missions, and we had a class for each of the tracks, and it had that class had a class name. That was the variable that, that the class was called. And then you had a name field within that class. This is pretty much the same thing. Think of this as the variable name for the group, I guess. Or this, this might actually end up being the, the, the unit name. But just think of it like that for a second. Then think of this as like the name field. This is the name you're going to see display whenever this unit talks on side chat. Okay? Now we're gonna do. Now we're gonna leave this the same, but we're gonna add a little something extra in here, and this is cool. Watch this. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know a way how on how to um. This has to be a unit array. I I don't know how to join groups just yet. So each each member of your group that's joining has to have a variable name. So, and I've named these two FIA1 and FIA2. And once this, this blue four unit up here gets to that waypoint, this will flip on action. FIA1 and FIA2 will join Hunter11, one one, the, name of the, the, name, of the uh, name of the group. And I'm also going to show you guys player one side chat. Get over here. This will also display like the actual the name the name field in, in in quotation marks. I also want to talk to you guys about join and join silent. Slint. I don't even I can't type. Ah, there we go. Now, you remember when they joined us with the waypoints and the squad leader said five, six, follow one. And they said, Roger. That was using the join. If you would just leave it like this, that's exactly what you would hear. But if you use join silent, they won't say anything over the radio. They'll just join. I wanted to do this. But I also wanted to show you how to remove units from this. Now check this out. Get over here. Move completion radius um, off FIA. Please radius. Uh, let's make it ten again. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Watch this. FIA one, FIA two, join. Now this is special. This is where you want to pay attention. GRP null. Okay. Now GRP null is a very special is a very special group. It is. <laughs> and this is quoting off of the, of the Bohemian Interactive uh, wiki page. A non-existing group. This value is not equal to anything, including itself. So basically, this is a null group. You can't specifically tell units to just leave your, your, your group. You have to tell them to go to a different group. And group null is like telling them to go to a group that doesn't exist. It's basically telling them just to leave your group and not join anybody else. However, we're also gonna we're also gonna ah get out of my face. We're also gonna test out something that I wanted to see. Now we have player two. I'm gonna name a player two right now. Player two. Well, that's the variable name. Even though he's not a player, we're gonna name him player two. Now I I'm 80% sure that since this entire group has the name Hunter One One, that that uh, player two will still have Hunter one one as their tag whenever they're saying stuff across side chat, but I don't know that for certain. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. 
Loading, loading, loading. Okay, see that? Our view with FIA. Again, it's a it's a it's a place within a within a certain area. They're waiting very so patient ever so patiently for me and my use to get here. See that? Hunter one one. And then it'll display the, the player name if um if one is given. They're gonna go ahead and join our formation. Then we're gonna move over here to this other waypoint, which is drop off FIA. Now you see what I see what I mean? So long. That's player two speaking, but it still has the same call sign as player one. Now they've joined a null group, and I'm pretty sure that there is absolutely no way that you can that you can give them waypoints now that they're in group null. Because it's not equal to it in itself. If <coughs> if you used group null add waypoint, I don't think it would work. So you, if you want these guys to actually like go places after you've dropped them off, you should you should say um, FIA one and FIA two join um, uh, group FIA or something, or name them a completely separate group, uh, group uh, fire team two or whatever, and then you can say fire team two or group FIA or whatever you've named it, whatever you've named that group, add waypoint, and then you can tell them to go places and do things. And I'll cover all that in a uh, in a separate tutorial. But for now, that's uh that's all there is. That's all there is, gentlemen and ladies, if you're a lady scripter. Uh I also wanted to show you guys one of the mods that I really love from Arma 3. This is um I'm actually a Delta Ranger or I'm actually uh yeah, Delta Ranger. I'm actually a, an SF Delta right now. This is part of the uh, I, I I don't remember exactly what the uh, wow bad frame rates. I don't remember exactly what the mod name is, but um oh really wow holy shit guys I don't remember exactly what the mod name is, but I'll put it in the description. Again, this is this uh, this mod is through Play with Six, which I highly doubt, I recommend everyone download. It's, a, it's it's real it's a real thrill. I, I love it very much. You can get Arma 2 mods and Arma 3 mods through it. Arma 3 is just 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 online for mods, not too recently. So definitely definitely go download Play with Six. Have some cool mods. Uh, play around with play around with some of the stuff, and I'll bring you guys a tutorial next time. Until then, see you later.